Hey guys, Trav White here. Welcome back to the channel where we cover the science of style and grooming. If you enjoy learning about hair, skin care, beard care from an evidence-based perspective, please smash that like and subscribe button. So today we're just gonna be talking about frizz. What is frizz? What causes it? How do you fix it? Let's get into it. All right, so before we get started, this video is not sponsored, but it is brought to you by me. So I've been working for months and months on a hair and grooming app for men, and it's finally here. And this app is the ultimate solution to anyone who's ever asked in their life, what product should I use for my hair? So this app was born after I created my Facebook group, Man or Mains, which all of you should come join as well. There's over 14,000 guys in there. But I was seeing a lot of questions from men asking, what is the best shampoo or what's the best conditioner? And I would always respond, you know, there's not a right answer for everyone. You need to know what your hair type is. And I would direct them to my free hair type PDF that I put together last year. And then they would come back and say, okay, this is my hair type and they would give their exact curl pattern, texture, scalp, moisture level, all that stuff. But what's the best shampoo and conditioner? So they would know their hair type, but they still wouldn't know what the best products to use were. So then I realized that just helping men discover their hair type was not enough and that they still need help finding products even after they know what their hair type is, which is why I created this app. So this is the Main or Mains app. It's available in the iOS app store and the Google Play store. Although the Google Play store is still in beta, so it's a little bit buggy. So Android users, please bear with me on that. Uh, we're working out all the bugs and kinks. It's, we're hoping to have the final version launched in the next week or so. So if you download the app, the app begins with a hair type quiz. So once you fill out all your info, you'll then join the community. And the cool thing about the community is that you can post the products you use with your images to the main feed. But this feed is not like your typical social media feed. It's a hair type feed. So what you can do is you can scroll through, you can see everyone's hair type, you can see what products they're using. You can also filter the feed by hair type. So if you click on filter, you can search for your curl pattern or you can search for your scalp moisture levels if you have a dry scalp or an oily scalp. And then it will filter the feed to only show men who share that exact trait with you. And then you can look at their posts and you can see what products they're using. So you can see people who have the same hair type as you, see what products they use, and you can see those products right on the app, what ingredients they have, how they're used, and you can shop for those products directly on the app. So the best way to discover what products to use are by looking at people who already share your hair type. Because you can watch my videos and I can explain what products I use, but you might not share the same hair type as me. You might have curly hair, you might have between 3A and 4C hair. And you might be wondering, well, what should I do? How do I brush my hair? How do I shop for shampoo and conditioner? So you can solve all these problems on the Mannered Mains app. So go download Mannered Mains in the App Store and the Google Play Store right now. Okay, so moving on to why your hair is frizzy. So explaining frizzy hair is actually really simple. It's when your individual hairs and the surrounding hairs are not all facing the same direction. So there's a lot of friction between the cuticles and they're folding over on top of each other. When your hair is frizz free, each strand lays perfectly in line with the strand next to it and every single hair has all of their cuticles laying the same way as well. So when your hair is frizzy, your hair is like, all right, you go left, I'll go right, and you get this mess of frizz. Did I go the right direction, left, right? You go left, I'll go right. So what causes this? Well, the scientific answer is different types of bonds. Hair is made up mainly of a protein called keratin. And the keratin in each strand bonds to the other strand, allowing it to hold its shape. This is done through an amino acid called L-cysteine. I think that's how you say it. Let me look that up. L-cysteine. Pronunciation. Cysteine. Yep, that's right. Which is found in keratin and it's responsible for the elasticity and strength of your hair. So it does this by bonding sulfur atoms in the keratin to each other. This is called a disulfide bond and it's really strong. So when you have this tight bond, 
you know, your curls are bouncy, your waves are wavy, or you just have nice laying hair without any frizz. And in fact, these disulfide bonds are what helps your curl pattern stay intact. And the only way you can really break this bond are through chemical relaxers. This is why using ammonium thyglocalate, AKA perm salts, breaks up this disulfide bond, relaxes your curls, giving curly haired people straight hair. Um, Chenny, why is it that Tracy Marcinko's curls were ruined when she got hosed down? Because they got wet? Exactly. Because isn't it the first cardinal rule of perm maintenance that you're forbidden to wet your hair for at least 24 hours after getting a perm at the risk of deactivating the ammonium thyglocalate? However, disulfide bonds are not found all over every single strand. The one that contributes to frizz directly is held together by a weaker bond called a hydrogen bond. This is not as strong as a disulfide bond and it's much easier to break. So this is when a weak attraction between a slight positive and negative charge holds two keratin strands together. So hydrogen tends to have a slight positive charge and keratin tends to have a slight negative charge. So it's really the hydrogen atoms from water bonding with the keratin to make this really weak bond. Since this bond is so weak, if more water enters the picture, AKA humidity, it can break up those weak hydrogen bonds and change how your hair sticks together. So wetting your hair can break old hydrogen bonds and form new ones. So when it's humid outside and the water in the atmosphere breaks up those weak bonds, this is how your hair becomes frizzy. So frizz really occurs because of how your hair absorbs moisture in the air is really unpredictable. Right? It can happen at the ends of your hair, it can happen at the middle, it can happen at the roots. It just depends on where these hydrogen bonds are and how moisture breaks them up. So when the moisture in the air is humid, it can cause an overload of hydrogen bonds on the outer layer of hair, which is the one closest to the atmosphere which causes those outer layers to sort of fold back over on themselves, right? So this is kind of the most common vision of frizz that you probably have. So how do you fight this? Like, what can you do? Well, you need to create something to seal that hydrogen bond. And you need to create a stronger bond, essentially. So the best way to do this is by sealing those hydrogen bonds and not letting any more moisture into your hair to break those hydrogen bonds up. So once your hair is moisturized, which if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that moisturized or conditioned hair is hair that's hydrated with water and then sealed with emollients and occlusives, right? So emollients soften and add shine to your hair and then occlusives seal those cuticles to lock in that hydration. So the best emollients to use are actually silicones and or hair oils in combination. Although not all hair oils, some hair oils penetrate the cuticle and some sit on the outside and seal the cuticle. So I would recommend watching my hair oils video to learn more about which oils do what. But the best thing you can do to fight the humidity, keep those hydrogen bonds from breaking, is to use, well, if you're not already using a conditioner, which if you watch my channel at all, you should be. I'm sure most of you guys are using conditioners, but the next thing you can do to keep those hydrogen bonds from breaking is to spray on a leave-in conditioner spray or use a cream or something that will be a leave-in product. So these products form a protective layer around the cuticle, blocking excess water from getting in and breaking up those bonds and causing the hydrogen bonds to reform and giving your hair a head full of frizz. So I'll leave links in the description to some great leave-in conditioners. My personal favorite is the Wee Milk Oil from Daviness. It's a light mist, which I love because my hair texture is so fine. So it provides the conditioning ingredients I need, but it's not heavy to weigh my hair down. I actually have some in my hair right now. I sprayed some in yesterday and it's still, still doing pretty well, but it's magical at fighting frizz for my hair. But you know, you might not have the same hair type as me. So the other thing you could do is go download the app and see what leave-in products people who share your hair type are using. There's also educational articles within that app on fighting frizz and there, there's a bunch of stuff. I'm not gonna go into the app again, but that's it for today, guys. Go download the app. I'll leave links to leave-in products you can use for each different hair type, thick, 
thin, coarse, fine hair in the description. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.